Hi, this is Derek for President, and I'm going to teach you how to use a free program called AVI Synth that does a lot of cool stuff. Uh, this whole video I did with it, you know, the background, everything you see, you know, it was layered and put together and edited with AVI Synth. So it's a really cool program to know. And don't be afraid of it. I'm going to show you in this video how easy it is, and I'll have you uh, using your own AVI Synth script in the first lesson sounds complicated right well don't worry about it well the first thing you have to do is install AVI synth and it just has an install program go through it and it'll be loaded on your computer you'll also want virtual dub mod which you can download and just put in any folder on your computer and then you'll probably want to create a shortcut to it and so you want to find virtual dub mod.exe and right click and say send to desktop create shortcut and then you'll have one on your desktop like that now to capture footage you can do it with Windows Movie Maker make sure you capture as DVAVI like that and also make sure when you save you select the same output uh, you just say yeah other settings DVAVI and you can also use WinDV, that's another free program, capture it with that. And that's what we have here, this footage.avi. Now we're going to take this and put it in the video folder that we're going to be working with. Bring that up, and we're going to right click and say new text document, which we will call test.avs. You might have to put it in quotes if you can't see file extensions, but we're going to right click and say open with notepad and there it is so we're gonna type our first command and that's AVI source and parentheses because AVI synth commands go in parentheses and then in quotes we put footage dot AVI and there it is now we can just save that save the changes there we go and I'm going to bring up virtual dub mod okay and now we're gonna open that file we just typed test dot AVS that little text document and there you go instead of seeing a text document it sees the file that we loaded and we can scroll through like that we can also continue to edit which we will do by con pressing uh, control E which brings up the command you can see the stuff we already typed and we'll try to resize it this is a kind of resize bicubic resize 320 comma 240 push F5 to reload and voila there is the video magically resized. It's not really a good way to resize interlace video, but it's just an example I want to show you. Um, what else can we do? Ah, yes. If you put a period between commands, it's the same thing as them being on separate lines. Now, let's say we want to trim out frames. We're going to select from frame 163 to 343, reload. And now when we go back to the beginning, instead of me saying, hello, am I on, am I on, and all that dumb stuff, I'm actually ready to start the video. The audio is hiding under streams, stream list, okay? And if you wanted, you can save it as a wave, save wave like this. I'm going to call it audio.wave, and there that goes. I'll show you in our video folder that we're working with. You'll see that there's audio in that folder, and you can edit with whatever you want. Other thing we can do is push the pound sign, also called an octothorpe, <laughs> And that says, ignore the rest of this line. So watch when I reload it, we have the video not resized because it ignored the resize when I said that. You can do it at the beginning of a line, in the middle, doesn't really matter. The other thing we can do is, uh, let's say we put all this stuff on the same line by separating them with a period. Now we can say A is AVI source, all that stuff. Now we could also define B as some other movie other video dot avi see that now if we were to say video we could define video as uh, a and b a plus b and then if we say video it'll show all that stuff together now this is just an example i don't really have the clip so i'll close that out and under video we can select compression all kinds of stuff like that under file we can get file information and save it is whatever we want. Uh, you got a bunch of shortcut keys here. See stream stream list. That's where the audio is. And then there's help if you want it to. Uh, you can get that. Also, I should let you know that uh, with AVI synth, 
any of these commands, you can look up at avisynth.org. gives you lots of information on that. So, congratulations. Now you know enough to write your own AVI synth script. That wasn't so bad, was it? It sounds a lot more boring, you know, writing in a scripting language. It doesn't sound too glamorous. But you'll be able to do some really cool things if you keep going with this program, I promise. So stay tuned for more super cool stuff you can do with AVI Synth.